Welcome inside our NBA TV studios. I'm Stephanie Reddy alongside Grant Hill and Sam Mitchell. I'm going quickly because we've got a guest waiting. You're in for a treat. We're being joined by Donovan Mitchell of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hey, Donovan, thanks so much for joining us after your historic game. Congratulations, nine straight for you all to start this season, a franchise record to start the year. Tell me what it's been like for you all. I know it's early, but you're great. Um, we, we're solid, Stephanie. We're doing a solid job, continuing to build, uh, and we're playing the right way. I think that's the best part. We've had so many different wins throughout this win streak. You know, we've had blowouts. We've had close games come from behind wins. Um, and that's what you want to see. And it's not just, you know, one person every night. It's a consistent group effort, you know, on both ends of the floor. And that's what you want to see. But like you said, it's early. We've got to continue to be this team throughout the entire year, even when, you know, things are not necessarily going our way. We've got to continue to play the right way, and we've been doing a great job. Hey, Donovan, this is Steve Smith. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of the things you've noticed, first of all, last year you guys were, I think, 16th uh, in the league in offensive efficiency. Going into, mm -hmm. into tonight's game, you were second in the NBA in offensive efficiency, and you're the number one shooting team from the field. Sort of what changes or improvements have you guys done, or what have been the points of emphasis on the offensive end to have you guys be so efficient so far this year? Yeah, I think, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, hey, we were so ball dominant with myself and DG, now kind of allowing Ev to be a handler, Karis, you know, different guys. Ty Jerome's been phenomenal. Um, kind of just pushing the pace, and, you know, whoever gets it pushes it in different actions, playing through pace and concepts. You know, it allows us to be unpredictable. You know, if you got myself and Darius Garland running to the corners, you know, defense has got to watch out for us, and we have so many other guys who can attack and create. Um, so it's really just not really so much set plays and just kind of playing out of, you know, concepts and schemes, and I think that's what's been great for us. Us. And we're also making shots at a high clip, too, which is always, always great. Donovan, I'm glad you went there. This Sam Mitchell. You talked about D.G. Darius Garland. I had the pleasure of coaching him when he was in high school, AU, and everybody talked about you two guys couldn't play together because you both need the basketball. Talk mm -hmm. about the sacrifices that you both are making, and you, you touched on a little bit that the ball is moving, everybody's getting involved, and when you play this way, it makes y'all a better team, a more unpredictable team. Let's talk about that and dispelling the rumors that you two can coexist on the same team. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's, there's always something. I feel like there's always a rumor about something, you know. We may lose five in a row. It may be another rumor. But at the end of the day, we know what we're capable of. And I tell people this story all the time. When I first got traded to Cleveland, um, you know, JB, uh, our former coach, had to tell us, like, stop. Pa we're passing too much to each other. It's too much unselfishness. We're passing up open looks to try to get the other the ball. And, you know, when you, you come in like that as a, as a start, like, that's always a great way to start a relationship. And on the floor, we're great. But off the floor, we're even better. We can have conversations. We can kind of figure things out. We're both selfless. Um, so we knew how good we can be. We just had to continue to, to, to be us. You know, and at the end of the day, we, we weren't healthy last year either. You know, so we had so many ups and downs. But for us, we know, we, we know we're the head of the snake, and it starts with us. And just being able to do the little things, like I said, getting to the corners, um, sacrificing, you know, touches, uh, which we're all willing to do. You know, and I think and that's what makes it, that's what makes it easy. Donovan, I want to follow up with this one. I looked at the stat sheet tonight. Everybody who played in this game had an assist. Except two guys, you guys had third three assists. Talk about what Coach Atkins has done, the conversation with this team, with you and Darius, knowing how good you two were, about the importance of you two setting an example of distributing the basketball. Yeah, you know, like I said, it starts with your with your leaders. You know, if we're not willing to do that, then nobody else is. You know, it's hard to hold everybody accountable. So for us, taking that upon ourselves, um, I think continually, like, DG's been phenomenal. I want to start off by there. He's been phenomenal playing his butt off the way we all know he can. And all of us just continue, like I said, making the right play. It's a simple pass. It's not the home run play. It's continue. If you get the rebound, a simple kick ahead, simple kick across, um, different ways like that. But Kenny's done a great job of continuing to hammer home. Um, on those things, you know, and I think that's what's something that you see from, from top to bottom. Everybody's continually doing it and willing to make the sacrifice for the next person. Donovan, you have listed several things that will make a team successful big picture, right? Mm. Unselfishness, a lot of skills out there, running that certain scheme. What's the next step for you all from this point? How do you get to the next level? 
Um, consistency. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, like like I said, it's great we're nine and zero. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's continuing to do this throughout. You know, they're gonna, you know, I mean, we we can go eighty two and zero. That'd be great. But like at the end of the day, they're gonna be rough nights. You know, how do we continue to be the team we've been? You know, when we're in a three and four, or we're in a back to back, or we're in a hostile environment, uh, we're tired, mentally fatigued. Are we still willing to do the little things that it takes? Because it's easy to kind of fall into bad habits when you get tired. That's the tall chest of a great team, um, and continue doing it and we've done it these past nine games but the biggest thing is being able to do it on a consistent basis that's what a championship team is a consistent team and you know what you are on a night-to-night -night basis awesome Donovan thank you so much we appreciate keep your it going, time young fella keep it yes, going sir, appreciate it keep thank winning. you guys keep thank you